What's up guys? So, I'm finally getting to the stupid Kamar Stripper. It's like the last suit that I never built from Season 1. And it's just been sitting around, I've been building around it, so I may as well go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to do the unboxing for it real quick. Yeah. Stay. I can already tell you, there's a lot of purple in this box. Lots and lots of purple. So for those of you out there, and I know who you are, who like these purple kits, there's a lot going on here. Come on. Alright, so basic polycap runner as it is, but just gray. Then we've got different frame parts. We've got legs. Something I've actually not seen before. Oh, part of the foot, sorry. Uh, hips. Part of the big butt floaty part. I, I do like the fact that this is basically a, uh, a very big, like, just re, re-armored version of the Kimaris. It's so, there should be a lot of similarities. I love the fact that it's got the thumbs up hand. That's pretty awesome. Moving on. Sorry about the wobbliness. I really don't like these tripods. Got some more leg bits here and here. So, wait, what were those? Like, those are new arms? Oh, maybe. Okay. So, basic uh, Gundam frame runner. That is the, uh, I'm making sure it's the exact same runner, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's the same runner as the uh, main Gundam runner. The title doesn't look exactly the same. It doesn't say, uh... yep, yeah, okay. So for once, that's actually a slightly different Gundam runner. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we get one of the little cheapo stands. We like cheapo stands. Okay, so now we've got second purple. You always got to have secondary purple. So I like the fact that these, basically, you cut them off itself and then stick it together as a cool little clear uh, stand. Yay. Uh, I don't know why they give you a whole separate tiny little white runner. I guess this is the sides of the head, the collar, bottom of the chest. That's like right there. All the other strange purple. So you got this for the hover feet, chest parts. Yep. That's pretty much all new. Stay. It didn't stay. That is a big sharp knife. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now we get the shield, the weird blunted sword, a thing, oh that's a handle for the shield, it took me a second, and the ginormous lance booster thing, the very not pointy stabby lance. Oh here's a handle, wow look at that thing, <laughs> it just looks like part of the runner, that's crazy, so I like that. There's a lot of good panel lines on this, whoa this is not white. I thought it was going to be pure white like everything else. That's why there's just a straight up white runner, because this is a very off-white grayish color. Wow. Okay, so here's the main parts of the head. So what would... I have no idea now. Wow, this is already blowing my mind slightly. <laughs> so you got all the different parts here. You got the face there, which is very different. Do I have to paint that? I hope not. I'm trying to do as little paint work on this as I have to. You got a lot of the butt skirt. Same thing here. Leg armor, arm armor, knee pads, arms, stuff. Lots of funness. And then this weird bit that for some reason is right on top of the 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 butt hover. The hover butt. Hover butt. Okay, oop. Tiny little sticker sheet, so things I'm probably gonna have to paint. Or not. I might just go with the stickers, honestly. Because <laughs> gonna go with the eye stickers, which are different. Big old purple triangle that goes somewhere. No idea. No clue where that's gonna go. Uh, that's right there in the crotch. Yeah, I don't feel like painting all that purple again. It was not that easy mixing up the the purple for this last time, so I'm just gonna go with the stickers. Screw it. And of course we get the nice instructions here, and you get some golly golly going on there. I keep forgetting this is an older kid. I'm like, why is it not in English now? Because it's not. Okay, basic, your normal IBO 
kit instructions. So there's quite a few pages here. I've been doing the origin kits lately and they're actually a lot less work. Wow. Okay. There's a lot going on with those hips and the extra little little hand arm carrying dooley hoos. Yes, I said dooley hoos. Don't look at me like that. Okay. So that's it for this unboxing video. And I'm going to get to work on it later today. After I get everything back in the box. Because, wow. <laughs> All kinds of fun stuff. Clear. I still have to do this stand that I totally forgot to build from the uh, Origin Gun Cannon. So, yay for new extra stands. I really... I, does anybody ever use these, like, forward-facing uh, flight stands? I don't really ever use them for anything, but I've got a couple of them laying around. But anyways, come back for the actual review and build video in a little while, guys. I'll catch you later. Remember, as always, keep on building.